Well, it's been a while since my last update. I believe it was more than four months ago, and it's a, it was about the PMBO. Yeah. Well, this time I'm working in wireless energy transmission, and uh, actually I've been working for some time in this field, but I didn't get good results using the traditional Tesla coil or, or the Tesla coil that everybody uses. And I decided to read the Tesla patents and watch some videos from Eric Dollar. And well, this is not exactly how Eric Dollar described it, how he built uh, his coil, but well, it's something not so far. Uh, but instead of using bronze stripes for the primary, I used um, uh, AWG, something close to AWG 10. And for the secondary, I used uh, AWG 26. And the volume of the primary coil is almost exactly the same of the volume of the secondary coil. Uh, of course, a, the volume needs to be the same if I'm going to use all the co copper for the current. But in this configuration, I know that I will have problems, problems with the skin effect. Uh, but it's fine, uh, it's the first prototype. Well, the primary coil has almost two turns of AWG, something close to AWG 10, and the secondary coil has uh, a stack of six AWG 26 per slot. So I have in total 30 slots, and that gives me 108 turns. And I'm still missing the antenna for this coil. Um, I'm gonna use in future um, dif different types of metals and uh, even dielectric. I'm gonna test. And this coil for this test is connected to a standard Slayer Excited. This is this Slayer Excited using a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a 355 transistor. And let's see how this coil is gonna perform. Now I'm supplying with 22 volts the Slayer Excited and I'm consuming 100 milliamps. So let's check the strength and the range of the wireless energy transfer. Hmm. It's a bit stronger here in the, in the middle. The circuit is using 2.2 watts and well, oh, this is a 14 watts fluorescent lamp and uh, I'm getting a good a good amount of bright uh, good amount of lighting from from this lamp. It's not, not bad. Considering that the secondary coil has a thick wire compared to the wire wire used in the standard Tesla coil. It's doing quite well. Let's see this fluorescent tube. This is a 15 watts fluorescent tube. I'm quite satisfied with the results of this coil. Now I need to build another one, a complement to this one, and test how how well it will, um, how efficient it will be in transferring energy from one, one coil to another using just one wire or, or using the earth as a medium. And that's it for now.